So let's have a look at the setup. I've got my laptop and I've got a, a webcam here and it's pointing at three relay boards and as you can see up here we've got a live feed. Okay so we have three relay boards they're all connected to a USB hub and the hub is connected into a USB port on my laptop. So what we're looking at here is the feed from the webcam and it's showing it on screen. So now I can run the Relay Controller app and I'm going to sit the app in front of the feed from the webcam. So let's have a look at what we can do to control the multiple boards. So the Relay Controller is version 2. Let's have a look at the target board. And you can see in the list that the Relay Controller has found all three boards. But they've all got the same name. And the reason for that is because boards that are purchased from the same supplier at the same time that are the same quantity of uh, channels on them, they all tend to have the same ID. So, choose the first one in the list, and let's play this uh, schedule, which is to turn switches on and off, both switches, at one second intervals. And as you can see, the commands are being sent to board one. If I choose the second board in the list, and play the schedule, you can see that board two is being controlled. And obviously, if I select the third board in the list, then the commands will be sent to board three. So this list is confusing. I think we should rename them. Well, the way to do that is to choose a board. Let's choose the first one in the list. If I now right click on this, I can rename it. So I'll rename it board one. And you can choose your own name, of course. Let's choose the second board in the list, right click on it, we'll call it board 2. Choose the third board in the list, right click on it, and we'll call it board 3. Now, one point to mention here is that the relay controller can cope with a maximum of 8 boards connected and each board can have up to eight switches. So you've got a total of 64 switches here that you can control. So this is a little bit more clear now. We've got boards one, two, and three in the list. So the point to make here is that you can target a specific board out of the three that are connected just by choosing it here. And then everything that happens in the schedule will be sent to that board. Now, with version 2, there is a new option, and that is Combine. So if I click the Combine button, what that means is that the Relay Controller will treat all the boards as a single board. And in our example, we've got three boards connected, each one having two switches. So we've got a total of six switches that we can control when we combine them all together. So what we need to do here is set the working switch count to 6. And as you can see now, we have got 6 switches to choose from. So what I will do is I'm going to take this command, copy it, and then I'll paste it into the other 4 switches. I'm going to set repeat. So now we have a schedule which is going to control all six switches and turn them all on and off at the same time. So let's play this. Obviously you can choose different combinations here. So I could just, for instance, only choose the first switch on each of the three boards.
Now, again, this is confusing in terms of the names. By default, the Relay Controller app will name the switches one through six. Or if you've got, say, three boards that have got eight switches each, you'd have switch one through 24. So ideally, what you want to do is to rename the switches as well. So to make this a little bit easier, I will right click on the first one and call it board one, switch one. Switch two, I will right click, I'll call it board one, switch two. Here we've got board two, switch one. Here we've got board two, switch two. And again, you can name these switches whatever you like. And finally, board three, switch one. And board three, switch two. Now this information stays when you close the application. It will remember the names of the boards here and it will remember the names of the switches here. So it doesn't change anything really. It still continues to work in the same way. Let me just save that. I'll open another schedule that I created earlier. This one. Now what we have here is that we are controlling all of the switches on all the boards, but we're doing them in sequence. So what we have here is that the switch one on board one is turned on and off quickly. And when that finishes, we go to the next trigger, which turns on the switch two on board one quickly. It then goes on to switch one on board two, switch two on board two, switch one on board three, switch two on board three. And we've set this to repeat so let's watch what happens when I play this schedule. So again, that's quite a powerful feature. You can control the switches in any sequence, in any order. Um, and it will control all of the switches across all of the boards when you have this combine setting. Let's have a look at another one. Now this is quite a complicated trigger. It's a single trigger in one schedule. And I'm going to be turning switches on and off at different times, all independently from each other, and they will all repeat. So watch what happens here. So I hope you can see that having a combination of switches across multiple boards is a very powerful feature. Uh, again, if you've got multiple application instances running, so you can run the Relay Controller app more than once, you can then control one board on one instance, or maybe two boards in another instance. So the flexibility is entirely down to you as to which boards you control with which instances and which switches you control across all of the instances of the app.